Sonic 06, best Sonic game ever. So making a response to this video is weird because I'm responding to a video from, well, four years ago, to which Harry could have changed his mind on Wreck-It Ralph. I know he had it ranked on his Disney Revival era video, but that was from three years ago. So if any of you know if his opinion changed, can you please let me know? In this video, we're going to see why Harry doesn't like Wreck-It Ralph, so hopefully he doesn't have bad points and gives a good insight as to why he did not like it. And the business, we call this foreshadowing. What up, baby? Care if I fart on your balls? I want to make them so rumply with my big, nasty, stinky pig farts, ha ha ha. Before I begin today's rant, I just want to let you all know this is not uh, a, um, a rant uh, where I'm uh, uh, hating on the Wreck-It Ralph fan base, uh, nor is this a rant uh, where I just explode and am uh, pissed off uh, throughout. Uh, uh, no, uh, I, I want this rant to be uh, as harmless as possible. As possible. Uh, uh, if uh, you uh, love Wreck It Ralph, that's uh, 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 awesome. That's true. It's perfectly fine to not like the movie, but like I said, I hope you hear some good points as to why you didn't like the film as much as other people. Sadly, I've never been in the Wreck It Ralph fan club, so this rant is just uh, me expressing my honest thoughts of why Wreck It Ralph. Uh, isn't uh, my kind of Disney movie, nor do I think a Disney should make movies like Wreck-It Ralph. So, Wreck-It Ralph, uh, directed by Rich Moore and is the 52nd Disney animated classic overall. So, Wreck-It Ralph tells the story... Uh, 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 uh. What the hell is that? Was that supposed to be a joke? If so, it wasn't done well with how you decided to act as if you were sleeping, even though you were awake and would have worked if you had a title card for the story and cut the first half of your joke. Uh, oh. Sorry about that, the story of this movie is dull and, and, and um, uneventful. So. Yeah, so Wreck-It Ralph tells the um, uneventful, uh, boring story of uh, Ralph, um, uh, the um, um, the um, uh, villain in the arcade game Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, he uh, can't take losing to his uh, rival uh, Felix uh, anymore. So First off, the arcade machine is called Fix-It Felix Jr., not Wreck-It Ralph. Second, the only part you mention about Ralph's character being true is that he's frustrated. But it's not because of losing to Felix, it was because of how his role as a villain has caused him to be excluded, shunned by most of the arcade characters, and with no real friends. Hell, he wasn't even invited to his game's 30th anniversary party. So to show the entire arcade community that he is a hero, he embarks uh, on a journey uh, through a uh, uh, candy crusher uh, world. You also fail to mention how Ralph found a medal in Hero's Duty, but got cut up with a cybug, and that was why he lost the medal along with ending up in Sugar Rush. In a race uh, where he meets up with uh, 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 Vanellope, uh, the princess of this world, and unintentionally unleashes uh, the uh, one of the uh, worst uh, Disney villains uh, uh, that uh, I, I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, everybody at the time was ranting about how Brave won Best Animated Feature over Wreck-It Ralph and they were like, oh, Wreck-It Ralph was robbed. Uh, am I alone here? Yes! Yes! But the, uh, um, Am, am, am I alone? Uh, uh, to me, uh, Brave did deserve to win, and is uh, uh, and feels more like a Disney movie than Wreck-It Ralph ever is. Sure, my thoughts on Wreck-It Ralph are highly unpopular and controversial, as uh, the majority who love Disney, uh, uh, they uh, uh, 
Brazer, Wreck-It Ralph as a Holy Grail in the Disney canon. I uh, personally have no idea how they can think that whatsoever. Well, there are good reasons as to why it's considered a classic. It has good animation, the story is unique as well as great, the cast of characters are memorable, it has good jokes, and does a good job at having a video game setting. Uh, I am uh, in uh, the uh, uh, total minority, uh, but uh, to me, uh, Wreck-It Ralph is by far the most overrated uh, Disney movie of all time. Like, I take back what I said about uh, Big, Big Hero 6 being the most overrated Disney movie ever, because Wreck-It Ralph now I see is even more overrated. And I reviewed Brother Bear as I wanted to uh, post a, a positive uh, review related to Disney before I ranted about Wreck-It Ralph, as I needed a short break from ranting about Disney until then, uh, because these days, uh, to me, they are losing their magic and what's uh, made uh, them uh, uh, special uh, rapidly. And Wreck-It Ralph, to me, is, is no exception. It's not going to receive a zero out of five. I do have one solid positive. Vanilla Peach is a kick-ass uh, 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 Disney princess. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 Sarah, Sarah uh, uh, Silverman uh, uh, just uh, uh, just uh, uh, voices uh, her uh, uh, did delights for me. Pro tip, don't play a drinking game every time Harry stutters or says um. You will probably be dead after playing that. Julian! Vanellope is so badass that she needs no prince to accomplish her anything. Uh, yeah, in fact, Vanellope uh, uh, should have been the protagonist of this movie instead of Ralph. In what way does having Vanellope as the main character make it a better movie? You don't explain as to why she should have been the main character and the reasons for why you like her aren't good reasons. But Vanellope's the one positive I have for this movie. The rest of it is boring. So getting to my negatives, Wreck-It Ralph may not be necessarily the worst Disney movie ever made. That is still the wild. Ugh. But it's the most boring. Just, uh, I... I, I can never uh, 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 sit through the entirety of this movie without losing interest. Uh, uh, the trouble is, uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph would make an awesome uh, video game, but not a movie. Rich Moore, he's... He, you can see he worships video games. You can see that he, uh, uh, he he's, uh, 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 he adores uh, arcade and PS4 games, uh, uh, and uh, there are uh, uh, countless uh, video game uh, 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 cameos uh, uh, included in this movie, including uh, uh, Bowser from from Mario. Uh, but uh, um, but but they're just there for fan service. That is actually false. The reason for why real video game characters cameo in it was for the film to be authentic for a film about video games, as explained by Rich Moore. Link to that article in the description. This movie's narrative is structured like a video game, not a movie. It has a uh, uh, opening level that uh, uh, sets up uh, uh, our hero's journey, and then uh, uh, as uh, the levels go on, they get to Haza, uh, as uh, and uh, then the finale is just one a huge uh, video game boss fight. So, uh, yep, uh, and so. Stop! This narrative is structured like a video game and not a movie. What the hell does that even mean? Like, what? That makes no sense because if you were to analyze Wreck-It Ralph's structure, it uses the three-act structure, which is a common structure used in films to tell their story. You can easily connect various parts of the film to this structure if you wanted to. Your analysis doesn't work either because of how vague it is and feels like it's missing points to a connection between the film and structure. I, I, you could, I would have a, a far more fun playing Wreck-It Ralph than watching it. Rich Moore, this is a movie. You need to uh, 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 write the script like a movie. Now, Ralph as a protagonist, he's based on uh, the uh, Wreck-It Ralph arcade game in in the US. Uh, uh, it's um, I I have never played it uh, uh, as uh, I'm from the UK, so I'm. So, I have uh, no knowledge on the source material. Hey, uh, did anyone tell him that it's an original idea from Disney? 
Roberts, Ralph as a protagonist. Uh, uh, he is uh, uh, Disney's uh, uh, most uh, uh, forgettable. Nobody's going to want. Nobody's going to want to meet uh, uh, a, a dude in in a Ralph suit uh, at Disneyland. Uh, and and the character himself, he's a total ripoff of Shrek. Uh, and I'm like, and, and Mega Mind. Uh, didn't Mega Mind uh, do this uh, uh, storyline? As did Shrek. You know, you have a character who is judged as a monster just because they appear to be a monster, but they go on a journey to show that uh, they're that, uh, uh, deeper down, uh, they're just misunderstood. Uh, it was original uh, uh, at the time, uh, but by 2012, uh, it gets old. Uh, so this comparison between other heroes playing the role as the quote-unquote villain is interesting because it showcases three different instances of how it can go. Shrek was a character that knew the world was judgmental of ogres, isolating himself from the rest of the world. He fell in love with Princess Fiona, but misunderstood what she said in her conversation with Donkey. But in spite of that, he learns to go against the odds and ends up falling in love, obtaining something he never thought he would get. The aspect of him being an ogre is explored in different ways in Shrek 2 and Forever After. With Megamind, he was born to be a villain and even defeated his arch nemesis, but that was a bittersweet victory for him as that left him with no purpose. However, that would lead him to Roxanne and fall in love with her, but also attempt to create a superhero to fight. He learns that his path isn't destined and that he can choose what he wants to be and becomes a hero because of it. So what makes Ralph different from those two? Ralph's character was about self-acceptance of his role as a video game villain, because he could never change that. He learns that even though he has a bad quality, he can still use it for good. That was the whole point of the saying, I'm bad and that's good. I will never be good and that's not bad. So no, Harry, Ralph is not a rip off of Shrek. Not to mention this movie's villain, King Candy, he falls short of the greatest Disney villains uh, like Scar, for example. Uh, he's one of the worst uh, Disney uh, uh, villains uh, and ever. It's like, uh, 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 who... Uh, 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 who uh, uh, talks about King Candy in comparison uh, to, to the others? Uh, that's right, nobody. Man, these revival age Disney villains, uh, uh, except uh, for uh, the Shadow Man and Mother Gothel, uh, have uh, uh, underwhelming antagonists. Uh. While King Candy and your choice to highlight Scar are both the main villains of their respective movies, they were created differently in terms of motivation and how they operate. Scar resorted to killing his own brother and manipulating his nephew, as well as the hyenas in order to become king. He also felt he deserved the role as king and he would bring forth a greater age, but in actual fact it led to the kingdom becoming worse. His wicked personality also made him a joy to watch. In contrast, King Candy had everything he ever wanted and was hell-bent on maintaining that from people like Vanellope. All he had to do was turn Vanellope into a glitch and contain the memories of the Sugar Rush characters. He had good jokes and his personality of a good keen on the outside to hide his corrupt heart on the inside made him really good twist villain. He even develops into an even more dangerous villain, becoming a virus and desiring control over the entire arcade. So while I don't think King Candy is the best Disney villain, he's still a good villain and one of the best from the revival era. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the movie itself is boring, boring, boring. They spent far too long emphasis on far too long in the sugar rush of our worlds. The time Ralph and Vanellope spend in the sugar rush moved painfully slow. Like at that point in the movie, I I I wands out. I I I am a, a I am a, a, a sleeping throughout so that part, and, and I and I never wake up until the the credits come along. Uh, uh, I don't I don't see any kids staying awake through the sugar rush part of this movie. Out of all your points, your point on how most of the film takes place in sugar rush is your best point against the movie, since the movie could have had a bit more of a journey through other arcade games. However, just because it mostly takes place in that game, it doesn't make the movie boring because it's focused on Ralph and Penelope becoming good friends and getting Penelope ready for the race. And the animation? It sucks! Don't you miss the days when Disney would pick up a pencil and uh, uh, and be uh, uh, drawing their characters and backgrounds? Uh, now they're overly computerizing their movies and just uh, typing and, and uh, clicking. That's purely subjective and isn't a good criticism of the film because it doesn't try to suggest how it improves the film. I hope you keep that same energy about the rest of Walt Disney's 3D animated movies. 
especially since Wreck-It Ralph is one of the more unique looking of the Revival era. This video game universe has none of the magic uh, or the heart uh, or soul um, uh, of um, uh, Walter Disney's um, uh, studio, and uh, uh, there are no songs in this movie. Uh, I, I'm, I am not uh, uh, exaggerating, there's literally no uh, uh, classic Disney musical numbers in this uh, movie, uh, none uh, to uh, uh, sing along to. And that's a problem because, how exactly? Could you add songs in Ragged Ralph? Maybe, but they aren't needed in this movie. Some of my favorite films from the company have little to no songs, but what made them good are the stories they told and the characters being well written. Wreck-It Ralph is another showcase that you don't need songs in order to be a good Disney movie. So everybody will forget about Wreck-It Ralph if for generations to come as nobody will be singing along to its soundtrack like they will the soundtracks of the Disney Renaissance movies. Wreck-It Ralph is uh, my least favourite Disney Revival Age movie and one of my uh, top 10 uh, uh, worst movies of 2012. If you want to see the best Disney Revival Age movie, watch The Princess and the Frog. Uh, that uh, has uh, uh, the uh, classic classic uh, Disney uh, feel and magic to it. It uh, has uh, 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 the classic songs, classic villain, and it's hand-drawn. In fact, even Frozen is a better movie than Wreck-It Ralph. It may not be perfect, but at least it felt like a Disney movie, unlike Wreck-It Ralph. I give Wreck-It Ralph one star out of five. Fuck this movie. <sighs> Thank god we're done with Harry's review of Wreck-It Ralph. It's an example of how not to make a review with no good points, and doesn't do a good job at making Harry's point of view understandable. It reminds me a lot of Trolls World Tour fans rant on Hercules, but older and with a different movie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.